Welcome back everyone. I'm Evil Weight Rich and this is the Anything Vlog where I vlog about everything. What was I saying? And anything. <laughs> hey guys, um, like I said, this is Evil Weight Rich. I'm just back at my storage unit again. And uh, as you can tell by the thumbnail, I got a really cool rifle to show you. Um, I thought about doing it in the, the box thing and all that stuff, but no, nah, I didn't want to put this in the box. So like I said, if you can as you can tell from the thumbnail, it's an AR-15, and I'm real excited about it. All right, so uh, let me get inside there and uh, show you. All right, let's do it. All right, first I apologize for all the pillows and stuff around it, but this is a storage unit. All right, I'm going to just show you up close without putting it on the tripod first, and then I'll put it on the tripod, and we'll go from there. All right, as you can see from this, it's an M&P 15, which is a Smith & Wesson. It's chambered in uh, 5.56. And this one is what they call a um, optic ready version. As you can see, it doesn't have an A2 front post, which is like the big thing that goes up like this, if you don't know what that is. It has a gas block with Picatinny on it, and there is no sights on it, hence optic ready. And because this is a Cali version, did I just say Cali? <laughs> this is a California version. You have to have that they call this back fin, so you can't get your thumb around it. And this is pinned and um, you don't have a 10 round magazine and you see there is no um, muzzle brake or uh, flash hider on this now uh, like I said if you're not familiar with the California version is if you want to have a detachable magazine you know where you can push the button and it attaches like a real AR you have to have what they call featureless and so that means this has to be pinned this has to be where you can't get your thumb around it and you have no flash hider but you can't have a muzzle brake okay the um, the reason I got this one because I don't know if you if you are familiar with the MP 15 you'll see them with the a2 post most of them and a Magpul M bus sight back here the reason I got this one is because that version uh, plus I didn't want the, the first thing I didn't want the a2 post but that version actually is the barrel is crowned and this particular version the barrel is threaded so I didn't want to get one that was crowned. I want to be able to put a muzzle brake. Because in California, you can't have a muzzle brake. Just not a flash hider. So I'm going to put a muzzle brake here. I'm going to put some MBUS Pro sights here and here. And the reason is because the Pros are a steel. And uh, this gas, gas block is going to get hot. So I want to make sure that I put steel ones here. So I'm going to put those on. Like I said, a muzzle brake here. Um, might change this to a, a different style. It comes out this way. So I don't have to have the, the fin here. But, you know. Um, it will be a little different. It won't be like this, but it'll be a little bit different. And obviously, this will stay the same. Now, the way the law is, is you can't have the web in your hand right here between my finger right here and the web. You cannot have that lower than the top of this trigger. So that's why this is the way it is. They do so other ones that come out this way that allows you to wrap your thumb around. They look a little different, but it doesn't put the web of your hand here below the top of this trigger so that you can do that. So if you do that and you have go featureless, which is, um, the reason I bought it is because it changed the law. You don't have to worry about the bullet button. If you go feature list, which I have no problem with, because I'm not going to move that anyway. And you can work around this. You can have a detachable magazine like a real AR. Um, still only 10 rounds, but it is what it is. This particular model, this is the, this is the uh, M&P 15 Smith & Wesson. Like I said, this is the, ver the Sport 2. So it has a dust cover and the forward assist. It's got a 16-inch barrel. It's all melanided. I think it's what they call melanite. And um, um, like I said, this one has a gas block here with the Picatinny on the top. That's the reason I went with this version. It took me over a month to get. There's a back order on these. And uh, it's awesome. So hopefully you can see that. Let me see. I'm going to hold the camera at the same time. You can see it's Picatinny across the top. And right there. Hopefully you can see that charging handle, forward assist, and everything. Beautiful. So like I said, I'm going to, like I didn't say, I didn't, I'm going to change the handguard too to a Picatinny one. It's going to, actually the Picatinny is going to go all the way across. So it's going to cover this gap. And I'm going to put an angle foregrip on it, muzzle brake, and probably change this. And I'm going to put the MBUS Pro sights on here and here. And then eventually a red dot. But that's it, guys. My first AR. And the reason I bought an AR now is because, like I said, they changed a lot where you can have it with a detachable mag, no stupid bullet button. Or you don't have to break open the action. As long as you go featureless, not a problem. 
So haven't got a chance to shoot it yet because at my range you have to be a member in order to shoot it indoors. So I have to get that taken care of, but I got other things to get right now. But it's uh, beautiful. Very, very happy with it. Very, very happy with it. So I'm not going to give you all the specs. Like I said, i just give you a few. Of you. There's plenty of videos out there that can tell you all the inners and outers or whatever you want to call it. But uh, hopefully that gives you enough information. And if you have any questions or comments, just put them down below and I'll get back with you. But if you want, if you live in California and you want one, if you want to get one and you can put a, um, a muzzle brake on, you have to get this version, which is the Optic Ready. And in my opinion, it's well worth it. Because it looks kind of lame when you have just a crown barrel and you can't put a muzzle brake on it. Uh, real quick, this one is also ammy, it's am ambidextrous with the safety. Which is cool because, they, I think they did that because you have this and you have your thumb on one side. So that, that that's cool, I don't have to worry about changing that. Because I'm left handed and all, that's going to work out good. Alright guys, beautiful weapon, huh? Very, very happy with it. Even though I haven't shot it, I know I'm going to love it. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Like I said, I'm not going to go over every single aspect of it in specs. There's plenty of videos out there. But if you do have any questions or comments, just put them down below. And if there's something I don't know about it and you can't find it, I'll look it up or whatever. Just, you know, just let me know. But I just wanted to show you. Uh, it's probably the last firearm I'm going to buy for the rest of the year because I bought four all together. I bought the XD40 and the uh, 1911 and my uh, Brett M9. So and then this uh, AR here. So I don't think I'm going to buy any more. I'm just going to put some parts on it and uh, just go out and shoot them and have fun. All right, guys. So if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And hit that bell if you uh, subscribe. And if you tell your friends and anybody you know about my videos, I appreciate it. And uh, share, 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 share. Getting close. I think I'm at 947. And I appreciate, uh, I got. I think I got a new subscriber uh, today or yesterday. And I I don't remember your name uh, offhand, I apologize, but uh, I thank you for that. And uh, I just appreciate all you guys out there. All right, so like I said, if you like the video, hit the like, haven't subscribed, sub, blah, blah, haven't subscribed, please do. And I'll see you guys next time. Or I'll be somewhere else doing something else. Bye.